settle down. If I could have everyone stand this morning, we're going to invite the Lord into our our program this morning, and uh, I'm going to ask Sister Cindy if she would pray this morning before we begin. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time that we have to come together, Lord, and I just pray that you keep your hands upon each and every one of us, Lord. Bless us through this ministry that's being brought through the children there, Heavenly Father, Lord. Bless them as they go through with their play today, Lord. Keep your hands upon each one and bless us with the message that's bringing forth that we will grasp this in our hearts, Lord, and take something home with us. In your precious name, amen. amen. All right. Well, the worship team is coming. We're going to sing a couple of Christmas carols this morning. And uh, just join right in. All the visitors, you're perfectly welcome. We'll do whatever. Uh, we're certainly glad to have you all here. And uh, we're glad to have everyone here. And the program that these kids, these juniors have put on, is good. it will touch your heart. So just enter in and uh, sing and sing to the Lord. Okay? All right. Well, sign.
powerful song. Amen. Talks about Jesus being born. It's a silent night. It was all quiet. Maybe not really quiet, but you know, in terminology, it was quiet. What a wonderful day that was, the day he was born. The world has really changed it around. It made it more uh, uh, like Xmas. Huh? Mm -hmm. But thank goodness, we can say Christ. Yes. Amen. We can say Christ. Yes. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, joy to the world, the Lord has come. Pastors going in, and 
get a new battery. <laughs> this battery is, well, you know, they say die hard. <laughs> we don't want it to die hard, we want it to get replaced. So Monday morning, he's going in and have surgery, and he won't be with us for a few weeks. So next week, next Sunday, we had it all planned to take him up an offer, didn't we? Had it all planned. Everything was all worked out for us, okay? And the pastor changed it. <laughs> you know, he said, you know what? I'm going to have this surgery right away. I don't want to wait. Well, hey, they didn't wait. They scheduled it, you know? Now, that's, that in, in itself is almost a miracle. Yes. Yes. So, they scheduled this surgery. So, we're going to take up another offering this morning. And we're going to take up a Christmas love offering for Pastor. And because it was scheduled for next week, some of you may not have brought funds this week. So, through the miracle of our secretary, we're going to just take the offering today, and we're going to, and then if you have money that you need to turn in, if you'll just turn it in. Put it in a tithing of market pastor for Christmas. It would be appreciated, okay? So that's what we're going to do. And if these guys are going to come again, they're going to take another offering. And this is a love offering for pastor. All right, Brother Lenny, if you pray. All right, Pastor, Pastor will come up here. Now, here's another modern technology, okay? They're taking the offering. I already got the check. <laughs> See? Faith, Norma's faith has reached out. Amen. Okay? So, first of all, before I give him that, we're going to all stand. And, and I want you just all to stretch your hand for it. Because if his pacemaker stops, he stops. And the surgery, although it's pretty pretty standard, we want God's hands, okay? Yes. So reach your hand forward, and then Brother Dick, if you'll pray. Lord, we just thank you for this day, Lord, that we can come together as we uh, pray for Pastor today as he faces this uh, uh, surgery. Just pray that everything works perfectly, and Lord, that he will be restored soon. We ask you to bless all of us, Lord, this, this time of year, and at the time we remember your birth. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Pastor, this is from the church. Everybody give him a big hand. church in the valley, the best group of people, and I will say this, we have the prayerest group of people yes. that I believe any church has. If a need comes in, people pray, and I appreciate that. I'm glad for our visitors, Tim and Haley, and Alan and Shannon, if I got that right, and uh, I like, I, like, I like the way Alan and Shannon did, man. They just filled on the big up. And, <laughs> and, uh, and, 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 and uh, uh, yeah, Richard, that's your name. <laughs> 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 well, he, he, 
got his he's got his seat full. So you see how see how that works? See how that works? Phil, we didn't know this was going to be Phil Pew Sunday, but it worked out pretty good. <laughs> well, we're glad to have all of you here, and I just want to say, church, I appreciate you. I love you, your support, whatever, whatever need has been brought before you, you you've rallied to the top to do it. And uh, starting in January, um, we're going to start over here on the on the children's side of the building. And uh, thank goodness it's not going to cost us a fortune uh, to do that. But that's our next. That's our next vision to get that finished up, so we'll have a place and a uh, uh, nice place for a Sunday school accommodation. So, just so that you kind of know, I will be going in in the morning. Uh, they've been my battery's been dying for a year, <laughs> and but they wouldn't replace it until it got to a certain level. And then when it got to a certain level, oh, well, I said, how much time do I have? They said six weeks. So we can do this in January. I said, no, we can't. <laughs> only got three weeks left in January. We're not cutting. The, we're not cutting that close. I'm not that big a gambler. So <laughs> I said we're going to do this sooner. And so he, it is a miracle. I talked to him on Thursday. On, on Friday they had the surgery already scheduled for in the morning, and uh, that, that don't happen very often. But, uh, again, I, I thank you very much. I love you, folks. Every one of you. You mean so much. You mean so much to me. Um, you know, getting cards from the children, from the young people. That, that makes you feel good, folks. Amen. You know, makes you feel like that you've done something to make an impression on their lives. And I love our young people. And, and uh, so at this time, Brother Warren, uh, oh, there you are. <laughs> Not only can I can't remember, I can't see. Uh, but uh, we're going to ask Brother Warren to come at this time. And uh, we're going to present this program to you. The kids worked really hard on it. Uh, I didn't get to see it while they were practicing, but I know it's going to be good. Brother Moore, would you come? Thank you, Pastor. And I want to start out by uh, saying uh, some thanks to some people, uh, to the parents, number one, who help us out and get their kids here. <laughs> We know, we want, I want you to know, Connie and I love your kids. We're blessed to have them work with us and uh, do this program for you. And uh, my special thanks to my wife. She did all the decorations up here uh, and made all this so, uh, so we could have the program. Um, today's Christmas program is called Christmas Is. Um, many times people wonder, and, and the world changes it all around, but we know what Christmas is. We're going to try to present it today in a, in, in, in some, in a, in a little story that can you can tell others about Christmas. It will be an interactive Christmas <laughs> program. I have two songs in which I need your help with. The kids are going to be singing up front, but we're going to have you stand and sing with us. So what we want you to do is, I want you to be joyful today. I want you to praise the Lord today. I want you to thank Him for what He's given us the things he's given us and the gifts he's given us and the blessings he's given us because even though we're down in the dumps sometimes and we have hard times you know Christmas isn't the only time we should thank him it has to be every single day we should be praising him and worshiping him but today let's as a church family let's rejoice in what he has given us let's rejoice in the birth of Jesus and what he gave us so Christmas is Number, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you letters here. Uh, the letter C. The letter C for Christmas. I'll have her with that. It's okay. <laughs> C. Christmas is carols that we sing with joy, celebrating the birthday of God's little boy. Now I need everybody to stand up and the kids to come up, and we're going to do this again. John, we're going to do it again. Joy to the world. It's going to be a little different, a little different version of it, but we are going to sing joy to the world together. And I want you to join in, folks. If you don't know the words, it's okay. Just do the, uh, just try to do the best you can. But we're going to sing joy to the world. Oh, we're missing, we're missing our. 
I, I have to wait for a few minutes. He is back there doing tithes and offerings. <laughs> we have to go get him. Can somebody grab him? <laughs> I apologize for that. Let me see. Uh, yeah, we got to get John. John's doing our music today, and I didn't see that he wasn't back there. Oh. Uh, Turn them all off there. Yeah, that's good. Well, then we can't see the. Okay. Yeah, they're going to shine the lights up here. Just go ahead, spin forward, but don't look at the lights. <laughs> all right. John's getting ready right quick. Joy to the world. Christmas is hope for the whole human race. 
Our hope is in Jesus who died in our place. We are put our hope in the living God who is the Savior of all men and especially for those who believe. 1 Timothy 4.10 You know, for those who believe in Him, we have eternal life. We have hope. We have hope for the future. No matter how much despair we have in the world today, we have the hope that, and, and the eternal life. That we, we have that joy because we know where we're going. And the next song is a song called Sweet Little Baby Jesus. And it's a song that we're going to, that, that we're going to remember that sometimes we forget who he was and who he is. So listen to the words.
the letter R. Christmas is receiving the gift God gives Jesus and gave, gave us. Jesus, His Son, that we may live. He gives us eternal life. It was free. It is free. And sometimes people don't take that. They just reject it for some reason. But Jesus' gift is free. He gives us eternal life. The letter I... Christmas is Emmanuel, the Son's special name that, uh, that says God is with us. That's why He came. He's always with us at all times. All we have to do is talk to Him and ask Him. He's always there. The letter S. Christmas is shepherds leaving their sheep to see God's Son in a manger asleep. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. Luke 2.20 Can you imagine what it would have been like to be there that day? To see him more. See him in the manger. They didn't realize who he was. And we didn't realize who he is. The letter T. Christmas is telling, and this is important, telling people we know that Jesus the Savior was born long ago. Telling. Very, very important. If we were to take all of the time during the Christmas season that we spend on Christmas gifts and getting things for others and doing things for everyone, and we would change that into doing something for Jesus during that period of time, every person, imagine how we could change the world. Even all through the year, doing this. Telling others about Jesus is what he wants us to do. Tell, um, telling people we know that Jesus the Savior was born long ago. So we're going to sing a song together now. And I want you, this is a, a fast and happy song. Kids, come on up. We're going to sing Go Tell It on the Mountain. But this is a quick and faster version of it. So I need you to stand and I want you to rejoice with me. Clap your hands with the kids. And sing, just go tell them that. If you don't know all the words, that's fine. But let's get together and let's just do the main verses together. Go tell it on the mountain.
The next letter is M. Christmas is a manger in a poor cattle stall. The baby who slept is Lord of all. Now we're going to present Away in the Manger with our sticks that we did last year. This is a different presentation. <coughs> Away in the Manger. Christmas is angels filling the sky, praising the Lord on earth and on high. Can you imagine, for just a moment, the greatest fireworks you've ever seen in the sky? The greatest lights you've ever seen in the sky. How amazing the angels were rejoicing for the Lord at that time. It probably, I can't imagine, it lit up the sky so bright. S. Christmas is special.
Don't you agree? Amen. For Jesus, God's Son, came for you and me. It says in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. As we close today, we have a very special song about a young man, a young boy. His mom was in desperate need. And he wanted her to see Jesus very special. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Christmas is what it was to that little boy was important. And other people, and we need to realize what Christmas really is. So we'll take a moment to set up and review. This song is called The Christmas Shoes. i 
Christmas is Pastor.
We're going to wait for just a moment. But if you're here, we want you to come. Young or old, in between, every one of us has to accept that gift of salvation. Every one of us, if we want the love of God, we want this gift, we have to accept it. Mama can't get it for you. Daddy can't get it for you. I don't care how many years Grandma goes to church. I don't care how many years she serves the Lord, how many prayers she prays for you. You have to pray that prayer for yourself. It's real simple. Jesus, come into my life. Forgive me of my sins. Take away my wrongdoings and make me one of yours. And right then, He forgives you your sins. He wipes them away. The Bible said He cast them into the sea of forgetfulness. Never to be remembered against you again. How many of you have ever got that one Christmas gift in your life that you don't want to remember? We've all, we've all got them. At one time or another, it's like you smile and receive it and you can't wait for an opportunity to get rid of it. But Jesus is that gift of life. And when you receive it, you want to keep it. You don't want it. You talk about the gift that keeps on giving. That's the gift of Jesus Christ. That's the salvation of Jesus Christ. He never quits. His love is never ending. His blessings is never ending. It goes on with you throughout eternity. We've done our part this morning. These young people have done a great job to present to you our Savior, Jesus Christ. It was kind of sad yesterday. We went out. What? Kind of sad. We went out yesterday and we had, we knocked on 22 doors. Handed out 22. Well, knocked on 23 doors. Handed out 22 fruit baskets. So we went to one house. Knocked on the door. Told them where we were from. And he said, thank you for coming. I appreciate you for coming. But we don't believe in that. So we won't take your gift. One of these days, they'll stand before God. And they're going to wish they would have accepted the gift of salvation. The gift that was given to us when Jesus was born. Don't wait too late. Don't wait until your last breath comes. Because you may not have time cry out unto God. You may not have time. I hear people say, well, you know, I'm young. I've got a lot of life to live. I can take you to the mortuaries across the valley today and I can tell you and show you a lot of young people that thought they had a lot of life to live. That for whatever reason, they're gone. And some of them more than likely left this life without accepting the gift of salvation. I ask you today, don't wait too late. Don't wait too late. I want you to think about this program today, throughout the day. And if you feel your need just to ask the Lord to come into your heart, do it wherever you're at. It's nice if you're here. It's nice if you do it in church, but you don't have to. That gift is extended to you anytime, any place, anywhere. In the last year, I think it was last year alone, God blessed me to be able to deal with four men from the ages of 80 to 88. In their last hours, they accepted 
this gift of salvation. And just within a few days, each one of them passed away. It was good, it was great, it was wonderful. But I, I thought how much wonderful it would have been had you spent 50, 60 years of that 80 years or 88 years enjoying the gift of salvation. Enjoying the blessings that come with accepting that gift. Think about it. I ask you to think about it. And if you feel like, okay, I'm going to do it, just pray that simple prayer, Father, forgive me my sins. Take your blood and wash my heart white as snow. And just like that, you will be forgiven. You will be forgiven. Well, we want to say we thank you for being here this morning. We're glad to have our visitors. But you're only a visitor one time. And after that, you're not a visitor anymore. You'll just be one of us. We encourage you to come back. And uh, let me say this real quick. Uh, Sister Angie will... Uh, that twice. I don't normally do that. I'm sorry. I was raised better than that. Sister Williams <laughs> will be preaching on Sunday mornings and Sunday nights for the next I don't know how many Sundays. But uh, it depends on how long it is before they let me do something again. But they will. she will be preaching and Brother Richard will be preaching on Wednesday nights. Brother John will be leading uh, the services. He'll be taking over and, and leading the services and leading the worship. Did he enjoy that this morning? Amen. Oh, I tell you what, I think our worship team did a great job. And so we're going to ask him to come back and we're going to sing a fun song this morning. How many of you like fun? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I know better than that. We're going to have our worship team. I'm going to come back and uh, well, he's going to, we're going to sing a fun song. It's not a Christian song, so be careful now. Y'all look real righteous. No, it's, it's going to be fun. Now there? All right, Brother John. Well, dancing through the snow. Well, that's low. <laughs> Well, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Why not? 
but anyway, we pray you have uh, good holidays and a blessed Christmas. Would you stand with us? Uh, Sister Norma's got a little uh, gift there at the back door. I think Cindy's going back to relieve her. And she's got a little something for you from the church. Again, thank you for being here. Uh, one more time, let's give our young people a hand. Brother Warren, all that worry was for naught. <laughs> all that stress was for naught. You see, I've seen this, I'm going to say this real quick. My mother put on Christmas programs for years. And she would get real intense. And I mean, she would get real deep into these things. And, and uh, what I mean, it was and she'd be pulling her hair out. And my dad would say, stop worrying, it'll all come together. And uh, sure enough, you know, it would all come together. <laughs> come Christmas playtime, everything was, and she would, after it was over, she'd say, why didn't you do that during practice? <laughs> <laughs> they did a great job, and I appreciate them. So, all right, Brother Lenny, would you dismiss us in prayer? God, Father, we'll prove exactly for this day and for each and every one of us here and for this program, and Father, we will be ever mindful to give you all the praise in the precious and holy name of Jesus, Lord. Amen. Amen.